A spider from Asia has been spotted on the East Coast, and the striped species is moving north. Fox 43's Marshall Keeley explains how the Joro spider and its venomous bite could come to the Commonwealth. A venomous spider from thousands of miles away is nearing PA. Yeah, we're not entirely sure how they got to North America in the first place from Asia. Penn State professor Michael Scavarla says the Juro spider, a native of Southeast Asia, was first spotted in Georgia a decade ago and has since spread north to the Carolinas. The Juro spiders are going to be really distinctive amongst spiders in our area. Uh, they're going to be the largest or, uh, web building or orb weaving spiders. They have about a four inch leg span. There's really nothing else that looks like it. Some think the Jero spider can fly, but it's not really flying. What it's doing <laughs> is ballooning. Baby spiders will climb up to the top of trees and jump off, releasing a small piece of silk, kind of like this balloon and floating off to different destinations. Scientists say all sorts of spiders are pretty much raining down on you throughout the spring and summer months, but you just can't see them. They're small enough to fit on the point of this ballpoint pen. If they make it to Pennsylvania, it won't be by ballooning. Scavarla says Juro spiders only migrate about 10 miles per year on their own, but their sacks of eggs can attach to vehicles or move in containers. They could be here this year, they could be here in five years, they could be here in 10 years. It's just going to be a matter of somebody accidentally moving them, the population getting going from there. If Pennsylvania does see them, they're relatively harmless to humans. Juros keep to themselves but can bite in self-defense. Scavarla says it's as painful as a bee sting, and juro venom is very weak. We shouldn't panic. They probably will be here eventually, but, you know, they are big spiders, but they're not threatening spiders. There's no reason to worry about them. Marshall Keeley, Fox 43 News.